<laughs> so first, congratulations. Thank that you has to feel like one of the biggest accomplishments of your cycling career. Yes, it is. It is, and uh, it's a, it's a big big win for me. I'm I'm proud of this. Uh, you know, put put every, everything together uh, when it really counts, uh, under pressure with with own own crowd pressure. So that's that's awesome. And when we did the interview uh, before the race, yeah, um, I asked about who you thought the competition would be. Did the race go kind of the way that you thought it would? Uh, yes, I think we didn't mention uh, that guy from Argentina that got second. So uh, I'm we we are aware of our competition, but there there can always be a surprise. And uh, I think I prepared well for this, and uh, my game plan was good. Uh, Physically and technically, strategically, everything went well. So, and the preparation with the team, it looked like everything was just nicely organized. Absolutely, like uh, the atmosphere within Cycling Canada, within like mountain biking, is is just light and fun. So that's that's good. And uh, we've been been building like uh, you know the team atmosphere throughout the years. And uh, just those get little camps and race get together. It's it's good. When we get to those big events where we have to perform, uh, we, feel, we feel just like family and it's awesome. So tell me a little bit about how the race actually went on. You were really close together for most of the race yeah. and it was really the last half of the last lap where you broke it apart. Exactly. So first half of the race, three first lap, there was uh, the American with us and then he, he dropped back and then uh, it was between me and uh, the Argentinian uh, Soto. Um, he was attacking much more often than I was and uh, what I wanted is, is save something for the end and um, be sure I can attack with, with something, you know, something strong that will work. So I only did three attack in my whole race and uh, obviously it worked out. I heard that on one of your last attacks in the last lap, you actually hit a tree? Yeah, I did clip my handlebar between the, the narrowest section of the course. So everybody was having a hard time going through in training. Uh, I nailed it five laps, five laps out of six. But last lap, under pressure, when fatigue, um, I just clipped my arm bar and then got unclipped from my pedal. But uh, I was back on within a second. So you had to basically attack a second time to yeah, make sure that you stayed away. Yeah, exactly. But that's actually right after this that, that I broke him. So I think he was uh, he was he was in the red zone. And uh, like if we go five minutes behind, uh, before that, I was under pressure trying to catch back on because he, he, he had a yeah, gap. Good attack, yeah. So, what's the personal highlight now that you're wearing the gold medal? You've probably had all kinds of interviews and um, lots of people tweeting you congratulations. Um, what's the personal one thing that really stands out in your mind? Uh, I mean, those live interviews with, with those familiar faces that I've seen on TV talking about uh, those big games, uh, the Commonwealth Games, the Pan Games. Games, the Olympic Games, um, and now I'm there on live TV. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, that's yeah, that, I like. I, I did like that. It's like being a rock star. Yes, yes. <laughs> And that's inspiring actually to be there with, with those you know icons. So hold up your medal, show the folks what it looks like. And I hear it's very heavy. I've seen it, it passing it around to it to people. Yep. Um, everyone wants to wear it, don't they? Uh, yes, they want to touch it, they want to see it, they want to wear it. So I think it's a cool looking medal and it's it's not going to be uh, in my drawer, it's gonna be shown somewhere. <laughs> well, Congratulations. Yeah, you. thanks you. Thank we you very much. And thanks to all the Kenyan fans that came and cheer or that did follow everything over the web. It was a really good crowd. Absolutely. That was that was something. I had goosebumps by the end of the race <laughs> and uh, I'm so glad I, I pulled this. When you came through the, the last section, um, I saw just nothing but a sea of red and white. Okay. With you going right through the middle of it and then uh, the sweep into the finish. That was, yeah. That was nice to yeah, I just saw this morning uh, with CBC a um, uh, video to finish actually of, uh, of Emily, which I didn't see, uh, and now uh, of, my, of my finish. So that was cool. It was a good day for mountain biking. Yes, it was. Okay. Hopefully, many more days come. Good. <laughs> what, what have you got next? Um, home this afternoon okay. in Quebec City and uh, 
Saturday's Canadian National Championship. Mm -hmm. And then in three weeks from now, it's the World Cup in Mont saint anne Quebec. Right. And the week after uh, August 9th is uh, the World Cup in Wyndham, New York. Yeah. Busy schedule. Uh, yes. 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 Enjoy a little bit of downtime. Yeah, thank you very much. Huh? Thank Thanks you. For